for 1100 so I'm getting questions both 1100 and 1120 for the sake of peace not so Yes, for the sake of peace, I'm getting these questions from both the Torah sheet. So this question is question question seven. So we start. Question seven is saying find the set of values of k for which three x squared minus twelve x plus k is greater than zero for all values of values of x is that okay find find the set of values of k for which 3x squared minus 12 plus k is greater than 0 for all real values of x so this is an equality Okay. What are they telling us? What are they telling us? So, what are we supposed to do first? For those having ideas, what are we supposed to do? Yes, you can use that. That is just okay. Yeah, that is just okay. So, um, if we use discriminant, what are we going to do? Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. If the discriminant is greater than or equal or is greater than zero, let's say if it is greater than or equal to zero, what happened? What do we do? To find the value of k in this case, what are we going to do if it is greater than zero? Guys, what are we going to do? You know, I've been teaching this for so long now. So, you mean you don't have ideas? But I, you solved this total shit. How did you solve it? Uh huh. Ah, okay. Our discriminant is what? Do you understand that if I've got my formula here, let me just explain from here, maybe you understand. B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Do you understand the fact that when we're talking about the discriminant, we're talking about this guy? We're talking about the B squared minus 4AC. So we are saying this has to be, for, for it to be, we are saying that find the set of values of K for which 3x squared minus 12x plus k greater than 0 it is supposed to have real values so if it's supposed to have real values then it's supposed to be what? greater than or equal to 0 also two distinct real values greater than or equal to 0 so in this case my b now let me do it from here for, for, for this for this uh, quadratic to have real values meaning that the discriminant has to be greater than or equal to zero okay 
or I can say it has to be greater than. But let me just say greater than or equal to zero. Because if even if I say greater than zero or equal to zero, still I'm going to have real values. I'm not going to have the complex values. So what I can do now is I know that my b in this case is 12. So I'm going to say negative 12. Okay, I have to square it minus 4. My a is 3. Then my c in that case is 12. This has to be greater than or equal to 0. So this is going to give me 144 minus, what is, this is going to give me 12k, greater than or equal to 0. I'm, I'm going to shift this guy to the other side. I'm going to have negative 12k, greater than or equal to negative 144. I will divide both sides by negative 12, even here by negative 12. These two will cancel. My k will be greater than or equal to. Now, since I've divided with a negative, what did we say yesterday? We said the sign has to change. Are you still here? Yes, sir. Yes, the sign has to change. It's going to be less than or equal to 12 into 144. Mm. Into 144 is 12. So k should be less than or equal to should be less than or equal to 12. Now the question here is saying find the set of values. I, I believe that is your network now. Try to uh, try to leave the meeting and then rejoin. So k has to be now the question is saying find the set of values of k. So I have to put this in, in set interval. So I'm going to say this k, the k has to be, uh, or let me just say set of values should be from negative infinity all the way to 12, but 12 has to be included. So any number which I can put there less than or equal to 12 is going to be defined. Unless you have questions for question seven, Do you have questions? I have to put this in set interval notation because I'm finding the values, the set of values. So the set of values is going to be from negative. Since we know that when we say less than, K is less than or equal to? You want some sweet cause? I'm kind of asking if you can mute your mic. I'm kind of asking if you can mute your mic. Okay, thank you. So now, that is it for question 7, unless you have questions. If you don't have questions, tell me so that we go to question 8. No questions. Okay, cool. Let's 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 now do question eight. Question eight now is this is application of inequality. So we are saying um, in the vicinity of uh, a bonfire, the temperature T in degrees Celsius at a distance of X meters from the center of uh, the fire was given by T is equal to this is the the t was given by t is equal to 600,000 divided by x squared plus 300. At what length of distance from the fire center was the temperature less than 500 degrees Celsius? They are even giving you to say less than, less than 500. Okay? So, Application, let me now do the <clears throat> application of inequalities. It becomes simple when you understand the question. They are saying that the temperature has to be less than zero, or less than 500 degrees. So I'll just say, my temperature has to be less than what? A 500. Is that okay? I have my T already. This is my T here. So if T has to be less than, if T has to be less than 500, then I'll just put it there. I'll just replace where there's T with this. 
Is that okay? Or you are still confused? So I'm going to say, I, I understand to say my equation is 600, 600,000 divided by x squared plus 300. This is equal to T. So they are saying that the temperature now is supposed to be less than what? Less than a 500. So I'll just say, I'll just put this to be less than a 500. Now, after writing this, I have to find the value of x. The question is, at what range in distance, or at what range of distance? So they want it to be in meters. And we've been told that x is in meters. So we're trying to find the values of x. Okay. Now, at this point, last time I said, I can shift this guy to go to the left-hand side so that I remain with 0. So it's going to be 600,000 divided by x squared plus 300 minus a 500 less than 0. I can now divide this part with 1 so that I find the common denominator which is going to be x squared plus 300. Then I'm going to say x squared plus 300 divided by x squared plus 300 is going to give us what? It's going to give us 1. So 1 times 600,000 is going to give me 600,000 minus 1 divided by x squared plus 300 is going to give me x squared plus 300. Now this guy times, so I'm going to say I've got a 500 here times x squared plus 300. This has to be less than 0. Now from here, what I'm going to do now is I can get rid of this. Simplifying this, I can put a 600,000 to be on top minus 500x then this is going to be minus what is 500 times 300 it's going to be 1500 not so divided by x squared plus 300 i've got less than i've got less than zero from here now i can see that i've got i have got this guy and this guy and I can subtract them what is 600,000 minus 1500 what is 600,000 minus 1500 it's giving me two Sir, on the, multi, the multiplication of the 500 times 300 that's why Oh, 150,000, eh? Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes. 150,000. So now, what is 600,000 minus 150,000? Come on, come on. Let's do fast, guys. Yesterday you were active. Today you are not active. Why? Is that fair? It's not fair. So what is 600,000 minus uh, 150,000? Four hundred and fifty thousand minus 50x minus 500x I divide it with x squared plus 300 less than zero. When you reach at this point, you have to get the numerator to be less than zero also get this to be less than zero so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say I'll start with this minus 500x less than zero I also get x squared plus 300 should be less than zero yes please we have it here. Uh, it is supposed to be x squared. Oh, it's x squared, right? Yes. But am I, am I in good mood today? Just a minute. Let's, let's go back a bit. It's x squared and no one was able to remind me. Yeah, it's supposed to be 500x squared. Let's start from here. Yeah, 
from this point here we can clearly see that it's supposed to be x squared so this has to be squared then it's going to be minus 150,000 divided by x squared plus 300 then this has to be less than 0 we are now okay Yes. So this has given us 400 and 450,000 minus 500x squared less than 0 and another one x squared plus 300 less than 0. Are we okay there? So for the critical point now we have to solve the critical point. What are we going to do? You know when finding the critical point even here you can just say it is equal to because you are going to use the table but it's okay you can use it you can start from there so we're going to say let's start with this guy so I'll shift this guy to the other side I'm going to have negative 500 x squared less than negative 450,000 I'll divide both sides by negative 500 both sides by negative 500 now once I divide both sides by a negative there's still a question the sign is going to change so I have x squared will be greater than now what is 450,000 divided by 500 it's what 900 right eh? so 900 I'll get the square root both side I'll get the square root both side I'll have x is greater than plus or minus what? 3, 3, right? Not so. Meaning I've got x is greater than positive 30 and x is greater than negative 30. For those having questions before we go to uh, x squared plus 300 is less than 0, you can ask. So I have got x is less than, greater than 30. This. Those having questions, please ask. Yes, we divided with a negative. That's the reason why the sign has changed. What if we do what? Your voice is too low, sir. Your voice is too long. I can't get you. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Yes, yes, it's the same. It's the same, sir. You can shift the. No, in fact, do you, do, you, do you understand the fact that the sign here doesn't affect anything because these are just critical points. That's why I said it is okay even someone like this. If someone likes this from here is equal to zero because you are just finding the critical point. So the sign will not affect anything. Yes, sir. So now we'll go to this part here. This is going to be x squared less than negative 300. Guys, you can't square a number. Then you come out with what? Eh? A negative. So what do you do with that? I think I mentioned something about... You can't square, so you leave it there. You can't square a number and get a negative. So the critical point, you like here to say, my critical point, I have x is equal to 30, and x is equal to negative 30. Is that okay? So this one, you can't solve it because you can't square a number and get a negative. So this one, you leave it there. You just say, you can just leave it there and don't explain anything. you just say no real values for this one no real values you leave it there then now your critical point you are going to have only that those other x is greater than 30 and x is less than 
uh, and x is, is greater than negative 30. So what we are going to have now is this is going to be my table. Now, yesterday if you were there, this is saying less than. So when I have my table here, I'm going to have negative 30. I'm going to have 30 here. A number in between, I can get 0. A number here, I can get 31. Here, I can get negative 31. We are together. Now, from here now, I can see that if I shift this guy to the other side, it's going to be x minus c. Minus 30. This is going to be x plus 30. Then here is going to be x minus 30 and x plus 30. Now, if I put negative here, if I put negative 30 here, I'm going to get a negative. A negative here is going to give me negative. Negative, positive, positive. I believe no one is behind there. If I put 0 where there is x here, I'm going to get what? A negative. Here, positive. Negative, positive, negative. If I put 31, it's going to be positive, positive, positive. Which one is my answer? Because it is less than, so which one is going to be my answer? X has to be what? Are we sure? It's going to be? Uh, sir, won't it, won't it be open negative 30, comma 30 open? Okay. Uh -huh. Others, what are we saying? I believe we have not made any mistake. Is there any mistake? No, sir. So since it is less than, we are getting uh, we are getting a negative, not sir. Okay. So we are saying we have uh, shifted. I think COVID, this COVID we have shifted this. Okay. So where there is negative, where do we expect to have negative? Where do we expect to have negative? Negative 30, comma 30. Okay, so it's going to be negative 30, which is true, comma 30. Now, let's assume, guys, to say this was greater than if they said it is greater than um, if they say it's greater than 500 what what would be our answer it's going to be from here it's going to be from negative infinity to negative 30 union from 30 to ne positive infinity also if this was greater than if the temperature was greater than is that okay Yes. So now we can go to. Ah, we are done. We can go to where? What's my next question? So my next question here is. Um, this is question what? Question 9. So question 9 is saying. Question 9 is saying. The gas mileage G measured in kilogram per gallon for a particular vehicle driving at V kilometers per hour is given by the equation G is equal to 10 plus 0 0.9 V minus 0 0.1 0 0.01 V squared. As long as V is between 10 kilometers per hour and 75 kilometers per hour, for what? range of speed is the vehicle's mileage 30 kilometers, uh, kilometers per gallon or better so if they say for what range of speed is the vehicle's mileage 30 kilometers per gallon or better are we talking about greater than or equal to or what are we talking about so Yes, so G, in this case, G has to be greater than or equal to. 
has to be greater than or equal to 30. That's what they are telling us. Now we have got our equation 10 plus 0 0.9 v minus 0 0.01 v squared. So if g is greater than 30, meaning that they are just telling us to say if I can write this in, in quadratic equation it's going to be negative 0 0.01 plus 0 0.9 v plus 10 greater than or equal to 30. So my goal is just to find v. This is v squared. Okay? I have to find v because the question is saying for what range of speed? They are, they are asking about the range of speed. So the range for the speed in this case, I know that I cannot factorize this using factorizing method. I can just use a quadratic equation where I can say v is going to be negative b plus or minus b squared 4ac divided by 2a so my v will be b in this case is going to be negative 0 .0 0 0.9 plus or minus uh, 0 0.9 squared plus 4 our a is negative 0 0.01 our c is uh, 10 so we divide this by 2 our a is negative 0 0.01 now my v in this case is going to be negative 0 0.9 plus or minus let's see what we're going to have in the square root there you're not having a calculator but i know it's math so this question they can give you but they can give you something which is going to be simple so this is going to be minus so it's going to be four times no this is supposed to be minus from our quadratic equation right this part here. So we, we, we leave out the, the set first. Which set? Set all the set is greater than equal to set. Oh, no. We have to shift set to the other side. Okay, let's do this. Because the quadratic equation is in form of ax squared plus bx. So I have to do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to say, I shift this state to the other side greater than or equal to zero. Because the quadratic is always in this form. So you make sure to say you have zero this side. Okay? Meaning our overall is going to be like this. Or what is 30 minus? I'm going to have minus, eh? Minus 20 greater than or equal to zero. Now I have my equation. So I'll use this now to find the value of v. So negative 0 0.01 v squared plus 0 0.9 v minus 20 greater than or equal to 0. Now we are okay, right? So our formula is v is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac times 2a. So v will be equal to my b is 0 point, it's going to be negative 0 0.9 plus or minus you should let me know if i've made a mistake again i'll square this minus 4 my a is negative 0 point negative 0 point what negative 0 point 0 0.01 my c is a negative 20 i'll divide this by 2 times negative 0 0.01 are we okay there do you have anyone who is behind we are okay um okay so now let's but if you want okay in a case where you don't have um, if you want to simplify this, like someone who, who can just do times here, if you do times, if you want to remove these decimal places, you can do times 100, not so. Then this is going to be what? Our A will be 1, not so. If you do times 100, but it's going to give you the same answer. You get my point, eh? 
to make things simple like in a case where you don't use a calculator let me now do this allow me to shift this one here in a case they give you this question the way it is since you don't use a calculator this is what you have to do you have to do times that question the whole of this you can do times um, you can do times 100 so if you do times 100 this is going to give us what it's going to be what is 0 0.01 times 100 it's going to be 1 not so so I have negative v squared plus 90 minus 2000 greater than or equal to 0 I don't know if we have someone who is behind there anyone who is behind no yes now since you don't use a calculator that's the reason why I have d I've done times 100 to make things simple so I'm going to say using this formula I'll have my negative 90 plus or minus I'll have um, 90 squared okay then minus 4 here is going to be our a is negative 1 then it's going to be it's going to be what it's going to be negative 200 our c then we divide this by 2 times 1 supposed to be 2000 2000 sorry 2000 so now what is 4 times 2000 8000 8000 okay so now what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to say my V is going to be negative 90 plus or minus what is 90 squared Eight thousand one hundred. Eight thousand one hundred. Then what is two thousand times four? Eight thousand. Eight thousand just? Okay, so I'll divide this by two, which is going to be negative two now. I'll say it's negative two. Now I can get rid of this guys and say my v will be equal to negative 90 plus or minus what is 8100 minus 8000 8, this is 8000 right 100 100 divided by negative 2 now what i'm going to do here is the square root of 100 is what So I'll say 10 divided by negative 2. So I have two values of v. I'm going to say my v will be equal to negative 10, negative 90 plus 10 divided by negative 2. Okay? Another v will be negative 90 minus 10 divided by negative 2 so v will be equal to 90 this is going to give me negative 8 right negative 8 divided by 2 negative 40 Neg negative or negative will cancel also yes so how 40 then another v will be equal to what here is going to be 100, 100 divided, negative 100 divided by that guy is going to be 50, right? So I have V to be equal to 40 and V is equal to 50. So now these are my critical point. I can now use the table. So since it was greater than, I'm going to get the positive part. So I'm going to say... I have I've got my 40 my 50 then I have here I'm going to put 51 here I can put 45 if I want here I can put a 30 
So if I shift this to the other side, it's going to be v minus 4, right? Here is going to be v minus 50. So I have got v minus 40 and v minus 50. If I put 30 here where there is v, I'm going to get a negative. I'm going to get a negative, right? Here negative, negative, positive. If I put 45, it's going to be positive, negative, negative. If I put 51, positive, here, positive. What would be my range of values? Let's do first. What would be my answer from negative infinity? Are you guys still here? We are here, sir. Negative from, here. from negative infinity all the way to 40. Union from 50 all the way to positive infinity. Unless you have got questions. Sir, yes, please. Uh, is the fort going to be open or closed? Oh, it was greater than or equal to, so it's supposed to be closed. It is included. So I have to say this is included. This is also included. Because it is greater than or equal to. Sure. Now, for those who were not there yesterday, for those who were not there yesterday, I believe I still have some guys who are not there yesterday. So, if maybe it's the first time for you to, to join these classes, after quiz, you need your revisions for test and everything. So, we as Transcended Institute, we have all the videos in all the courses for NS. So, if you want to access, if you want to access all the videos from our site, it's only 100 kwacha per course, per month, and you'll be able to access videos. Now, before we go any further, let me show you the videos for those who were not there yesterday. So, if you log in using a uh, Transcended Institute um, website, you're going to see this. If maybe you want math, you just click where there is math, go to, to course. You see all the topics here, the sets, functions, binomial, trig, exponential. And we are still adding all the topics. I'm sure by next month we are going to have all the topics here. So if you open here, let's say you want binomial. You are going to see that we have all the content for binomial. These videos are here. You can't find them on YouTube. On YouTube there, you are going to find the videos which are there. We, those videos are just free. Anyone can watch them. But if you want to access these videos, these videos are only accessed by people who are registered with Transcended Institute. We also solve the throw sheets and past papers. So if you want physics, you see everything is there. So it's just a matter of you registering with Transcended Institute if you are interested to access all these videos. Chemistry, biology, physics, math. Okay? So for those who don't have my number, let me now give you my number in case you want to register with us. But before we do that, let's first go to the next question. The next question is here, but let me first put my number here in case you are interested. So here is my number, plus 26-0767-729927. So you can contact me using this number if you want to register, or you can WhatsApp me using this number. Now let's go back to our business. Now question 10 is saying the revenue R and cost C for the product are given by R is equal to X open brackets 75 minus 0.0005 X and C which is the cost actually is equal to 25 X plus 100 or plus 100,000 where R and C are measured in kwacha and X represent the number of units. Question 1. How many units must be sold to obtain the profit to obtain uh, a profit of at least 500,000? So what does at least mean? We have talked about this. Hmm? I want to get okay, I'm I'm writing I'm writing my test my quiz 1 my, my quiz 2 on Saturday. I want at least to get 50. 
meaning it's me you are, you are telling me that when I say at least I get 50 meaning you want to get fee less than 50 greater than or equal to 50 uh -huh. meaning you want to get greater than or equal to 50 yes I want to get at least because math math is hard at least if I can get a a 75 then I'm okay so at least meaning greater than starting from there going up so greater than or equal to meaning that so the question is saying how many units must be sold to obtain the profit of at least 500,000 meaning the profit which we have to obtain so I'll say the profit which you have to obtain is supposed to be greater than or equal to 500,000 then everything is going to be okay so how many units are going to be sold for us to obtain this profit okay so there we go we start now now we have got the revenue okay the revenue we have been told that it is x 75 minus 0 0.0005 x and we have been also told that the cost the cost is 25 x plus hundred thousand okay now for me get the profit what am I supposed to do how can we have got the revenue and the cost I want to get the profit what will be the formula the revenue the profit is going to be equal to what exactly so I have to say the revenue minus the cost then that is going to be my my profit so now we clearly see here that our revenue now this number I, I believe you have you have coped this number for those who want to contact me I can now get rid of this so now if I say the revenue minus the cost yes so I'm going to say I have got this the profit so the profit I can say just say the P which is the profit so the profit is going to be my revenue is X open 75 minus 0 0.0005 X then I have to say minus 25 X plus now this minus let's be careful here this minus is going to affect everything here so I have to put this guy in brackets okay because this everything here is the cost so I have to put the bracket there is that okay now from there now I'm going to say my profit will be equal to uh, 75 times X is going to be 75 X minus this is going to be 0 0.0005 X squared minus now I can open the brackets 25 X minus a hundred thousand here now from here now guys I can say we are saying that the profit has to be greater than 500,000 but before we put greater than 500,000 we know that this guy and this guy they can add so what is 75 minus so I'll say my profit to be equal to what is 75 minus 25 50 so I'll say 50 I can even start writing this I can start this negative 0 0.0005 x squared plus 50x minus a hundred thousand so we are saying this has to be the profit has to be greater than or equal to 500,000 now we have to find the value of x because x represent the number of units so we have to find the number it's making sense huh? Hmm? pay now it's going to make a lot of sense so it's going to be 0 0.0005 x squared plus 50x minus a hundred thousand now I'll shift this guy because I want to remain with zero that side minus a five hundred thousand greater than or equal to zero my goal is to find the value of x unless you have questions so it's going to be negative 0 0.0005 x squared plus 50 x now what is a hundred thousand minus five hundred thousand this is the 
negative 600,000 greater than or equal to 0. Is that okay? Yes. Now, <clears throat> from here, I can use the quadratic equation to find the, the value of x. Not so. I can use the quadratic equation to find the value of x and what I'm going to do just a minute let me just there's someone who want to join okay now if I use x is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac I divide this by 2a let's try by plugging in so if I'm to create space here then I write this here to say my x will be what is my b what is my b 50 my b is 50, 50. And then what is my A? Aha. Uh -huh. Again, okay, 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 just a minute. Do you also understand the fact that if I want to remove the zeros here, if I don't have a calculator, I keep the zeros here by doing times what? Like the whole equation. I've got how many zeros? One, two, three. Times one thousand. I can do times one thousand, right? If I do time, what is 1000 times 0 0.005? It's going to be 5, not so. But you can do that at your own time. But what what I'm trying to say is that you can, since you don't use a calculator, you can do times, you can do times, you don't use a calculator, just do times 1000. If you do times 1000, this is going to be negative 5x squared then plus 1000 that is going to be 50,000 minus what is 600,000 times we put again how many zeros I have got five I put again two I, 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 I get, again I put three zeros then it tells me that that is what 60 million or 6 million So I'm going to say x uh, negative b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x will be my b is negative 500 or 50,000 plus or minus and then b is 50,000 but squared minus 4 my a is negative 5 my b is negative 600 uh yes please yeah i think there our a is supposed to be negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 yeah yes yeah we're using one thousand we need to use ten thousand that's when you can have a five so we use the ten thousand So if we use the 10,000, that other one is going to be 500,000, not so. I'm trying, I want to get rid of this 0 0.00. So I need to do time 10,000, right? Meaning here I need to add 1, 0, here 1, 0. Then this is going to be 5, meaning I've done times 1,000, not so. Times the 10,000. Okay, perfect. Now here I need to add another 0. Here I need to add, is 50,000 the way it is? It's supposed to be 500,000. So I need to add another zero. Why am I just, let me just do this. So application is bit bulk, right? So it's going to be negative 500,000. Since we have added another zero plus or minus. So 500,000 squared minus four. A is negative five. B is going to be now how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, 
six seven eight nine not so now guys times two a is a negative 50 now i want you to go ahead and find the values here if you find the values see then you are going to make the table and get the part which is going to give you positive for the sake of time i want us to solve some other questions from here i think you can solve yes here is supposed to be negative 5 yes not 50 so it's going to be 10 down there so i want you to go ahead and find the answer there then you give me the you can send the answer in the group for the sake of time you get my point time eh? okay for the sake of time i wanted us also to solve some questions involving modulus because it's also important so here we have i have one two three four five six i want you to choose three choose three from here Mm -hmm. Kabuba, choose one. F. F. Okay. Uh -huh. What e. else? E. e. What else? Don't choose D because E and D they are the same. Choose a different one. B. B. Okay. We'll go to B. Let's start with C. I know C, you are already confused. But without solving, I think the day before yesterday, I explained about this. How can you solve this question? But C. Mm -hmm. Ah, Kabuba. Sir, won't it be an, uh, no solution because uh, a positive modulus can't give us a negative? Okay, that is your view, Mr. Sa. Kabuba, what would be the answer here? The modulus of 5x plus 5 plus 9 is equal to negative 3. I was also thinking like that guy, but let me solve. <laughs> Don't even waste time solving. Also, it has got no solution because the modulus can't come out as a negative. <laughs> The modulus can't come out as a negative so this equation has got no solution that's the answer you just say this equation has got no solution you don't have to explain the reason just say this equation has got no solution if you want you can say because the modulus can't come out as a negative so let's go to uh, b b is 10 x 10 x minus 3 is equal to 0 where there's modulus put plus or minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0 first i'm going to deal with the one positive so positive times everything inside is going to be just 10x minus 3 is equal to 0 i'll shift 3 to the other side 10x is equal to 3 i'll divide by 10 even here by 10 x will be equal to 3 over 10 so i'll put 3 my my first answer is 3 over 10 next i have to multiply by a negative so if i multiply by a negative it's going to be negative 10x plus 3 is equal to 0 negative 10x is equal to negative 3 over negative 10 over negative 10 x will be equal to again 3 over 10 so i still i'm still getting the same answer so these are my answers now if you have got just a number outside without x there is no need of you proving to say i have to test the solution no but if you have got x outside like in this case for question d and for question c then after finding the values you have to test you get my point then eh? if outside the modulus there is no x there is no need of you testing but if outside modulus there is x you have to test the solution because you are going to find that the other solution are not going to be defined when you you plug in the values there now let's go to e i'm saying in a case where you have a number outside like for example question a question b those two guys I don't have x outside the modulus. I don't have x that side, right? 
where there's a modulus is equal to something. I don't have x that side. So after finding the values, you don't have to waste time to test the answers. Okay? You just leave it, yes. But if you find that the question has got x outside, like for example d, it has got x here, another e here, but question e has got x here. After finding the solution, you have to test for some reasons. Because let's assume to say you find that x is equal to, not we assume again, but we have got a question. Let's solve question d. Let's start with question d. So question D is this, is equal to 3x plus 1. Now what is happening here guys is, uh, I'm going to say plus or minus x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1. So first I'll go with the positive. Positive times everything inside is x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1. So this is going to be x minus 3x is equal to 1 plus 2. So negative 2x is equal to 3. I'll divide both by, by negative 2. Negative 2x has to be 3 over 2. So my x will be equal to negative 3 over 2. Aika? Another one, we're okay there. Let's hope no one is... We're okay? Now, I'm going to multiply by a negative, where I'm going to say negative x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 1. So, negative x, I'll shift 3, is going to be like this, 1 minus 2. So, I'll have negative 4x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 4, negative 4x will be equal to 1 over 4. Just because I have got x outside the modulus here, I have to test these solutions. Am I going to get the same answer? Let's start with negative 3 over 2. If I put negative 3 over where there is x, okay, what are we going to get? This is the same as times 2 divided by 2. But you can find the common denominator, that is just okay. So you're going to have negative 3 divided by 2 minus 4 over 2. So I'm going to have negative 3 minus that is going to give me negative 7 over 2. But since it is in the modulus, initially it's going to be 7 over 2. That is to the left hand side. Let's also plug in x as negative 3 over 2. We see if we're going to get positive 7 over 2 to the right hand side. So where there is, I'm going to, to say this. Here I put negative 3 over 2 plus 1. I'm going to have negative 9 over 2 plus 1. 1 here is the same as, I can say this is a negative 2 over, then I have got 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is the same as 1. So that the, the denominator is the same, I just add the numerator. So I'm going to have negative 7 over 2. Am I getting the same? Am I getting the same? No. Because here I don't have modulus is giving me now negative 7 over 2. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3 over 2 is not, sol uh, is not the solution for this equation. Then I have to test another answer which is 1 over 4. If it's going to give me the same. Then I'm going to say, I'll put 1 over 4. If I put 1 over 4, minus 2. Remember it is in the modulus. So it's going to be 1 over 4. It's the same as I just do times 4 here, even here times 4. Because 4 and 4 can cancel and I'll get back my 2. So that it gives me this. 8 divided by 4. So this is going to give me negative 7 over negative 7 over 4. But since it is in the modulus, meaning it is positive 7 over 4. Okay, now to the right hand side, I need to get also positive for me to prove that this answer is correct. To prove that x is equal to 1 over 4 is the solution. So I'll say 3 times 1 over 4 plus 1. So I'll say 3 over 4 plus 1. So here is the same as just saying 3 over 4 plus 4 over 4. 
3 since the denominators are the same I'll add the numerator 7 over 4 now it is giving me positive this is also positive therefore the only solution for this equation is that x should be equal to 1 over 4 you do the same with uh, part E now let me go to part F But F is telling us to say this. Is, I think I explained something about this yesterday. But for those who are not there, again, if you have got two modulus, what you have to do with the modulus to the left hand side, another modulus to the right hand side, you choose only one side where you are going to put plus or minus. The other side you are going to open it, but you are going to have the same answer. Now in this case, I'm going to solve. Uh, the first one I'm going to put plus or minus to the left hand side then the second one I'm going to put plus or minus to the right hand side we see if we're going to get the same answers so let's, let me start by say plus or minus 2x minus 1 if I just put plus or minus here I have to leave this one the way it is just open it don't put plus or minus then if I multiply by a positive it's going to be positive 2x minus 1 is equal to 4x plus 4 plus 9 I'll say 2x I'll shift 4 to the other side minus 4x is equal to 9 plus 1 I've shifted 1 to the right hand side these two guys are going to give me negative 2x is equal to 10 I'll divide both sides by negative 2 both sides by negative 2 so x will be equal to negative 5 so my x has to be negative 5 I'll get rid of this and now multiply by a negative. If you have got a question, please ask. If I multiply by a negative, it's going to be negative 2x plus. Okay. Yes. I wanted to ask about uh, something you said. If you have two modulus, mm -hmm. you can just do one plus or minus. Then I think that is true. Okay. So, like in this case, we're on question F, sir. Question F is having modulus here, another modulus uh, that other side. So since I've got modulus to the left hand side and another modulus to the right hand side, you only do this when you have got a modulus to the other side, then there's equal sign or there's maybe any sign there, then there's another modulus this side. You just choose the side where you're going to put plus or minus. So in this case, I've chosen the left hand side. Then the right hand side, I have just to open, I have just to remove the modulus, then I solve for x. That's the principle which is there. So we have so yes we have solved the one for positive now let's let's multiply by a negative it's going to be negative 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 9 now this is going to be negative 2x if i shift that guy it's going to be 4x is equal to 9 minus 1 these two negative 6x is equal to this is going to give me 8 i divide by negative 6 negative 6x will be equal to 2 there 4 2 here 3 so another value of x should be negative 4 over 3. Now, if I put plus or minus here, it's going to give me the same answers. So you choose. If I just open the, the left hand side and do this, I've chosen now this part. I'll be able to find the same answer. So you go ahead and try this one now, putting the plus or minus to the right hand side. See if you are going to get x as negative 5 and x as negative 4 over 3. But you have to get the same answer. That is method 1. Method 2, I'll just show you. If you have got modulus both sides, what you can do is, you can just put them in square root. You do this. Then you put the brackets inside your square is equal to even here, do the same. Now, I want you to try this method. Then you have to square both sides to remove the square root. So you are going to have this. You are going to have 2x minus 1 squared is equal to 4x plus 9 squared. This one, you do it direct, you'll be able to find these answers. So go ahead and try that method. You should be able to find these answers. I can do the same to question B. Question B is 10... I can say since that one what, what it means there is if I've got the modulus of x is the same as this x squared 
the square root then inside I have just to square it yes please you can ask I think there's someone who is having a question um, so sorry, sorry I don't know if I got it so if you have modulus on both ends you hmm. still need to prove your answer after no 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 you don't have to prove your answer that is just okay you can leave it Okay, thank you. Sure. So here now, I can say the part B now. What it means here is uh, very simple, guys. If I have got, I can show you this. If I have got the modulus of this, I can also use another. Me I can use this method. I'll be able to get the same answer. I can also use this method where where there is modulus. I need just to put this. Then I say two x minus five. I square it is equal to 9 to remove the modulus I'm going to square both sides meaning it's going to be 2x minus 5 it is now squared is equal to 9 times 981 go ahead and find the answer using this and using this you'll be able to find the same answer so those are two methods which you have to know so for these ones I think we are done I wanted us to do this but because of time we're not going to manage so for those who want to join us, you can please text me or you can call me using that number in case you have forgotten my number. Here is my number. Here is my number. 0767-9927. So for those who want to text me, because even for test one, even for exam, your exam is just in two months time. So if you want to revise with us, you are going to access all the videos from sets until calculus just a hundred questions so that is my number you can text me or call me then get in touch with me see you tomorrow have a blessed night unless you have questions for today we end here but we are going to start from here tomorrow sketching these okay so see you tomorrow thank you sir okay we don't have anyone who is you don't have questions okay bye